had to show you Mazzy. Mm -hmm. It's a new invention for curry lovers out there. I've never thought of this in 47 years. It's taken me 47 years to work this out. See what I've got? I've got curry. Yeah. And I've got rice. Yeah. I've worked out a way of eating it without needing a knife and fork or making mm -hmm. a mess. Okay. Right? Because I like to dip my bread in my curry, right? Yeah. And I normally like have the rice separate with a fork, which is a bit plain, or mix them together and it's not so... Right? What you do, you dip that in your curry, right? That's how you like it, yeah? Yeah. But then, watch, dip it straight into your rice, it fills all that up, and <laughs> it doesn't even fall off. You don't drop any. <laughs> how cool is that? You're weird. I've never done that in 47 years. I bet no one out there, no men out there who eat these, have worked that out before. Remember where you heard it first? There you go, a little tip for you curry lovers. As for me, I've got a wrap today. This one's well apart. Veggie burgers and halloumi. And I'm trying to eat my meal. Can I eat my meal now? Good morning, everybody. Good morning! From the beautiful castle, Douglas. <laughs> Yeah, we're leaving it today, though. We're leaving. Mm. Which is a shit. We've actually really enjoyed really Castle enjoyed Douglas. It. A fantastic yeah. first place to stop, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Everything's gone right. Yeah. <laughs> it really has. Campsite was wonderful. People were lovely. Town was beautiful. Lots to do. Highly recommended. <laughs> yeah. So we've just come yeah. into the Tesco's, got a bit of shopping. Yeah. And now mm. we're off on to Kakubri. 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 Mm. Kakubri. If you're saying that right. I am saying it right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you have to think about it. Kakubri. Oh. Um, we're on a campsite there, so we can get there in 20 minutes time. It's not far yeah. at all. We're not going far. You know, we're staying in the same <laughs> area for a good week or so. Yeah. And then moving on, but uh, let's do this. Yeah. I don't want to leave, Mazzy. I've been really happy here. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's been real good. And here we are. Yay! Kakudbri. Yep. Kirk it's not spelt like, it's spelt weird. It's so. spelt Kirk Kud Bright. Yeah. Um, Kirk means church in Scotland. Kud, I don't know what that means. Bright, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, Kakudbri. I'm guessing they were just lazy and couldn't be bothered to say it right, but maybe they should change the name of it to Kakudbri and spell it the way it's said. I can see the house. Is that the house we were talking about, Mazzy? I don't know. You know, we went exploring a house yeah. the other day. There's one in front of us. There's one in this town. It's got scaffolding all over and it. I, I think, don't imagine we'd be allowed around that. I think that's it. I don't think we are allowed around it. Now. Ooh, I just smell like yeah. takeaway. Yeah. Takeaway <laughs> stuff. <laughs> right, so we're just basically going to enjoy the day with no plans. Yeah, walk around town, enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Let's do this. Art. <laughs> art. So this town is known as... The Artist Town. The Artist yes. Town. First thing I'm noticing is this. It's like a metal corrugated shed art with pigeons on top. £350. Now you know why that's standing out to me, Mazza? Why? At school. Me and Paul Barnes, we yeah. were let out of class to try and make something similar to that oh, out of okay. matchsticks. <laughs> we went to wash his hands because we had glue all over his hands. Yeah. And Paul put a bit of glue in the faucet in the tap thing. Right. And it sprayed all over and we couldn't get it out, you know, the top of the tap. Yeah. And it flooded the entire bathroom. And we just ran out. We just left it flooding. And You're naughty! Out. And we got barred, believe it or not, we got barred from Washing making... Washing your hands. <laughs> well, from making any more matchstick things, but it would have looked just like that. I like it. Ooh, the worst barking terrier in the world behind us. Anyway, you've just seen this, you like this, yeah? Yeah. What did you say about it? Oh, I had two similar. You had two Mainly. similar? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I like it. It just looks like morph. Yeah. A bat morph. It's not messed it's not, it's not the real morph. <laughs> oh, that dog. Thank How you. can you live with that? Yeah. Same bo dogs as uh, Bob and Jenny's got. Yorkshire Terrier? No, what do you call them? Westies. Westies. Yeah. 
it just it's one of them barks like my mum's dog which just makes you jump every time it barks. Bless it. It hurts. <laughs> Artist shop look. Yeah, full of art. You're gonna get a lot of art. We can't help that, we're in the artist's town. Snack attack. This reminds me of art attack on TV. Whenever we're in the artist's town, snack attack. They make some really nice stuff. They've got all these wonderful waffles, uh, pancakes, ice creamy type things with bananas. Looks gorgeous. There's things Mazzy would like, like hot toast paninis, fajita wraps. That could be on the cards. It does sound nice. Pattern a church. There's yeah. two churches, isn't there? They yeah. look very similar. This one does look the oldest. One way in the yonder there. Very similar spires on them. This one looks the oldest. But in one of the churchyards, there is someone pretty important. <laughs> well, very important. Yeah. And very amazing, let's be honest. I don't so. think he's here because they don't look like a graveyard. Can't see a graveyard here, no. 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 So I'm guessing it's the other one then, Mazzy. Yeah. But we are definitely going to take you to see the most amazing man who has ever lived of all time. <laughs> if it's true. Oh, it's true. What's for tea, Mazzy? Uh, we haven't decided for you yet, have we? <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be able to make me something nice? Yes. Are you sure? I'm a very good cook. Because if not, I know somewhere I could send you. <gasps> the place behind you. <laughs> it's a cookery school. How cool is this? This is a better sign, actually. All different cookery classes. Thai, Indian, Chinese, Asian, Italian, Middle Eastern, North and African. How cool is that? Gluten free, was it? You could learn how to make your own gluten free meals. Yeah, that would be good. Have you seen the door knock? <laughs> oh, that is cool. Brambles, fine foods. There's something amazing in here. I've never seen one of these before in my life, Mazzy. Somewhere to keep your wasps. It's a wasp bed. <laughs> you probably can't see it. It's a lovely ball in the window with a, a wasp just asleep in the middle of it. I do like this though. It's kind of Spanish -y, isn't it? I like it. Time to check out a few house prices. <laughs> what are you thinking? Yeah, reasonable. Some, yeah. some things are very reasonable, some yeah. things aren't. You've got an actual hotel here, Star Hotel, 300,000 quid, it's yours. Yeah. And then I saw, what, what else did I see? Oh, this here, this is lovely. 110,000 pounds for a detached bungalow. You can't really see it because of the light, but that's, real, that's a good price, isn't it? Uh-huh, that's good. One underneath. 310,000, it looks exactly the same, but with flowers in the corner. <laughs> I'll buy one above, <laughs> won't you? I'd say they need me for being no. Ooh, Ooh someone's <laughs> excited, aren't you? Now, I know I'm healthy eating, but if I'm allowed a treat, this is gonna be it. Scottish tablet. You did say this the other day. If yeah. I see some Scottish homemade tablet, that's what I want. Yeah. And there's some here. It looks like it's an honesty box, Mazzy. Yeah, you got two pound fifty. No, but I've got about twenty-five pence. That'll do. No, no, no. 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 All right, all right. I'll give you two pound twenty. Let's get some. Oh. I didn't have the correct change for the yeah. Scottish tablet. We're gonna come back for it. When I'm walking around with, Ma I normally would have two pound fifty in my pocket, but when I'm walking around with Mazzy, I tend to just have like fifty pound notes, hundred pound notes, things like that. He knows he needs it. You see, to um, buy me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for a while, so we'll get some. Yeah. Just need more change next time. Yeah. We're just thinking, maybe, maybe a, a tree, takeaway. Tree. While we're here. Maybe, we'll get a leaf. Yeah, get a leaf. Yeah. It doesn't do chow me now, you like it, does it? No one can do it, only my hometown. <laughs> uh, looking at the picture here, where was it? Here, here. that don't look nothing It doesn't like look the it. same, but no. I like a Chinese now. I love takeaways, full stop. 
Yeah, it gives me a night off from cooking, doesn't it? it so does. I'll go along with that. <laughs> we'll see, we might have one of them. Check out the quality. Oh, they're lovely. It's really good quality, isn't it, Mazzy? I love it. What is it you like the most? <laughs> what? Well, Which about picture? what you're looking at. <laughs> what is it you really the, the like? Character of, um, the characterness of it. The characterness of it. The characterness. Yeah. Okay. It's nice, it's fun, look. Well, like that one, for example. Yeah. What is it you really like about that one? Well, there's lots going on. You've got a girl with a blue scooters, pram. Yeah, but that's the picture, Mazzy. Yeah. Well, they're not selling the pictures. Well, they sell it. Well, they are in the window, but that ain't what it's about. This is a picture framers shop. It's all about the frame. It's all about how lovely the frame is. Beautiful frame. Very well framed. Get yourself here if you want your photo framing or a picture what framing. What are you on and about? They're selling the picture. Yeah, it's but it's a picture frame shop. The first place we noticed, because we came down here, was this shop here. What is yeah. it, Mazzy? It's a traditional Scottish cuisine with a French twist. And it's <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Old Alliance, yeah. but not O L D, A U L D. Absolutely rammed. Old Alliance, every single table is rammed in there, so it must be special. It must be good. Maybe we should treat ourselves to that and leave the Chinese at home. Let's get, have they got a menu? Have they got a menu? I wouldn't want to sit inside. They've got a queue, Mazzy. There's a queue outside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So across the road you've got a park, we'll do that later. Yeah. Down there, that must be McClellan Castle or whatever it's called. It is. It is, yeah? yeah. Down here you've got a Kukudbe Bay Hotel, which sell meals. But my mum has a rule, Mazzy. Yeah. If you can't smell, smell the food, food. Yeah. don't go in. Right, okay. You have to smell nice to go yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> and Mazzy just noticed this fantastic thing. This is a just a news agent. Selling woolly stuff, I think. With the it's best good. bike of all time. You'd do your bike like that. I if, would. If you could, come yeah. on. Yeah. That is nice. So the most amazing person in this video is going to be dead. In this church behind me. There's two church. The other one looked older, didn't it? It did, yeah. We saw them both from up above high, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. But the other one didn't have a graveyard, so we've come yeah. to this one. This is the correct one, St Cuthbert's Parish Church. There's someone incredible buried in here. Yeah. Let's Should go, go try and look? find him. He's oh, what are we looking for? We're looking for a spoon or something on his grave. He's got two crossed spoons and I think two ram's heads right. on his gravestone. <laughs> that is peculiar. This, this is something about this particular peninsula, blah, 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 peninsula yeah. as well. Um, palm trees. Oh, right, okay. It's called, you know how we've got, is it the Spanish Riviera? I don't know. Yeah, the Spanish yeah. Riviera. Well, this is known as the Scottish Riviera because you get warm breezes coming from the south and you can actually grow tropical plants which you couldn't grow anywhere else in Scotland. The only thing you can grow in Scotland is heather, unless you actually live here. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a sorry sight, isn't it, Mother? Look at the state of that. You know, we're going to have to come back in about 170 years to, to see any beauty coming out of that one. I see where they're going. Monkey trees are lovely, but come on, we've got to stare at that for 100 years. Ridiculous. Well, we're trying as best to find this guy's grave. We can't find any graves in this place. It's just beautiful, like, parkland all around both churches. I'd say he's inside. You know, sometimes you have to walk on him. Um... I think there must be another burial site. There must be a burial site nearby, but not here. Mm -hmm. We've come to the conclusion the graveyard is not attached to the church. No. Either of them. No. We think we must have just walked past it coming down into the town from the campsite, so we're going to have a look on the way back. Yeah. But for now... good story. Let's continue. Yes. <laughs> I've changed my mind. This is where I want to be. It's fantastic. Check out the menu here. Here we see it. Full Monty breakfast, two bacon, 
lawn sausage, which is the square ones which I've just bought, which I love, fried egg, haggis, black pudding, tarty scone, beans, toast, six quid. I think we're going to try this because there's people queuing up to get in here. Here's a bakery. Paul Jones Bakery. Looks nice. Does anyone know who Paul Jones is? I'm sure some of you do. I've mentioned him before. Related to Flamborough in some kind of way. I'll go really? into that story uh, later on. Oh, okay. But he was actually born here. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure if he was born here, but he was definitely imprisoned here. Sometimes, you know, I've got such a small head, too many facts, sometimes I get things wrong. He was definitely imprisoned here, but I still think he was born here as well. Are you going to get to the point of the story? Not until I know my facts oh. properly. I can see a big pile of history. Yeah. Can I have a look? Can I have yeah. a look? Please let me have a What's look. What's that up in the window in the I middle there? I don't know until I get to have a look. Can I go it's have a look? Rapunzel. Can I please have a look? Go on. Let's go have a look. Rapunzel. Rapunzel? In the middle window of the hay This does remind us of the house we actually went to yesterday, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But in the centre of a uh, town. Now, up here, I am guessing this is Robert the Bruce. It's got to be. Um, Robert the Bruce has been round here. Very nice. And this is the house. Oh, is that where you're on about? Yeah. You're not going to see it on this camera, Mazzy. Mazzy has just noticed Rapunzel no, up, up there. Look. Can you see a hair coming down the house? That is absolutely beautiful. Can't get in, unfortunately. It's all fenced off, isn't it? Yeah, they're doing a lot of work on it at the moment. See all the scaffolding up there? They're trying to keep the chimneys up. So I believe it's the ruins of a 1500s manor house. And over here, this looks like some kind of church. And down here you've got Harbour Cottage Gallery. There's something everywhere. And down here, I believe there is a bit of a marina somewhere, Mazzy. Yeah, yeah. I can see boats. Yeah, it's right good. <laughs> Let's go check it out. I know Maz is desperate to get to the sea. We're only a couple of miles away, Mazza. This is like oh, the river really? leading to the sea. It's good, isn't it? Oh. Got all the boats down there. You know, we can cycle to the sea if you want to in the next three days. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Yeah. Big ships here. Pretty cool. Mazzy seems to think the marina is round the corner. I don't know, I thought I saw something when we were coming down the other side. No, I'm pretty <laughs> sure, Mazzy, that is the marina. Have you ever wondered how you... a campsite for boats, how they work? No. Oh! <laughs> you pull up, <laughs> you pick a pitch. <laughs> they might even tell you which pitch you're staying on. And this is where you would plug into. Look, it's very similar to what we have on the campsites, but a bigger version. And it's, a, it's actually like five pronged. You've got the light which comes on all through the night and gets through the windows and does your head in. And on the other side, you've got your water taps. And they will give you a code and it'll probably read how much water you use and charge you for it before you leave. So there you go. Just to get the play. It's really? not real, Mazzy. This, is it not really? <laughs> no? No, it's not real. <laughs> I don't You've know. You've got to remember, we're in Artist's Village. Yeah. Artist's Town. Um, but anyone who don't know like me would think, you know... <laughs> it's just like any other phone box, really, but blue. <laughs> Smash windows, boarded <laughs> up. <laughs> Nice memorial here. You can hardly read that, but I can just see through it. In memory of loved ones lost at sea. So, Dan's just gone into the tourist um, centre. Is that what that's called? I've just come round the back of it. 
Now that's some art for you, isn't it? Look at this one. Look at a beautiful dress. I think the boats here were actually fishing for these clams with this, what they're called, is Yeah. You come down here, look, this one's good. That's really nice. What's going on on that one? I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, fish in a cage. Oh, that's actually really sad. <laughs> Absolutely loving this last shed. Look at it. It's all Christmassy. All the old fashioned Christmas decorations. I think we all had uh, growing up in the 80s. They're just in these like little sheds. Look, babe. <laughs> I should have known I'd find you around here. It's good. I don't know what it's all about. Random yeah. beach huts with random things in them. This one is a piano. I'm not sure if they've opened this one, so you are actually able to go in and play. But if you come to this one, this was the first one. It's like a war shelter, bum shelter thing. Oh no, it's like in the ditch, isn't it? Is it? It's World War One, Mazin. I'll tell you how I know that. Could you read in this? No, I didn't read that to be honest. Oh. There's a football down there, and there's a very famous oh, story about Germans. playing football on Christmas Day. So I'm guessing yeah. it's World War One. Anyway, I've just been looking. Careful. I've just been in, asking about the pate. Yep. It's called Castle McClellan's Pate. Yep. The one place they know they would sell it is shut for a week. Oh. <laughs> so we might not find any, but I'm going to look out for it because I do like my pate. I love pate, don't you? Yeah, you had pate on toast last night. I love. <laughs> what? What is it? Just Brussels pate. Just me. We normally get. Yeah. It's only about thirty-five pence. You know, for cheapest. Well, that was from Aldi or Lidl, yeah. wherever it was. Yeah. Um, but I do like the good stuff as well, and I do like orange and champagne pate, that kind of thing. Oh, new posh. So I'm hoping to find this pate because I do like my pate. Let's go over here to the um, Why, do you think they shop? sell pate? No, they sell antiques. You'll fit in just well. A bit quirky, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we do like a rummage. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. There's what wasps, wasps everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere at the moment. I think I read about this place in the book I've been reading. It's, I think it is actually not just a fish shop, but a fish and chip shop. You know where you can actually get fish and chips? There's, wasp, there's wasps everywhere, I'm sick of it. <laughs> All around my head. Uh, fish and chip shop. So you can go in here and get fish and chips. The wasp is back again. It's back again, it won't leave me alone. It's back again. Oh, I hit him. Get so, back to this. <laughs> I do believe they actually sell fish and chips in here, but you can also get all the unusual cool things like a lobster from a fish and chip shop. Scallops. I think this town is probably known for scallops. Why? So I think that's what they were fishing on the boats. I saw the shells at the bottom. Really? And, yeah, and her dress over there was made out of all the shells. It might be. I don't know. Well, it's not opened anyway, is it? No. We're back now and it's tea time. What's for tea, I hear you asking? Right, well, let me show you today's tea. Today, for Dan, he just wants um, fish finger sandwiches, actually. So he's gonna have a couple of those. I say a couple of those, they're all his fish fingers. <laughs> I did pick up this from the shop while I was out because we didn't get have the change uh, to go back and get the homemade one, which we will. Today I'm having a wrap. I've just put some pesto in there and some grapes. And look, candy floss grapes. I finally found them. I've tried a couple actually. No different if I've been quite honest. So I'm going to have some halloumi into that and also them. Now I bought these today. Let me just shut them. I bought these today. What are they? Veggie fingers. So a bit like fish fingers, but veggies. And they looked really nice and sound nice. So looking forward to that. Yep, it, my wrap I know seems strange, but it's gonna be lovely, trust me. In the meantime, I'm gonna make a snack bag. So today I managed to get hazelnuts, 
to be Brazil nuts, but I couldn't get like a big bag of everything that I like, and I've got my own raisins, so I'm going to tip them all into here, and that'll be my snack pack, my snack bag for the evenings. Right, there we go, it's coming along. I'm going to add my own raisins. Shake it up. What's up? I just realised Liverpool have kicked off four minutes ago. So I've lost you for the evening now. Typical. <laughs> There we go. I do pick at these kind of things of an evening. Don't, Dan doesn't like this kind of thing. One job done. Let's get back to the dinner. So before we go, we cannot go without finding the Gypsy King. The Gypsy King? The Gypsy King. He was known as the Gypsy King, Mazzy. Was he? Yes. Oh, okay. So we're going to go find the Gypsy King for you and leave you on a high note. Yeah. It is the morning after. <laughs> Come with us. This is the only reason I've come to Scotland to see this Gypsy King. So excited. Quite a nice graveyard, this. All the uh, more modern ones there. Who we're looking for, we're guessing he's going to be in here because these tend to be a bit older. What are we looking for again? Two spoons. Well, Billy. Yeah, but what is it? Billy Two Marshall. spoons and what? <laughs> I can't remember. We could have been here hours, Mazzy. What a lovely local. <laughs> well, clear locals told us where it is. Yeah. You can see it straight away, look at it. It's hiding behind this one. Excuse me. William Marshall. Tinker, who died 28th of November 1792, at the advanced age of 120 years. Now it doesn't actually say what year he was born and died on here, so I'll tell you, 1672 he was born. It does say when he died. Oh yeah. <laughs> 1672 he was born, 1792, no that can't be right, 1672 to 1792, 120 years old. Apparently he had a lot of children but nobody has said how many and nobody knows. Um, he was married 17 times. Brave man. <laughs> And apparently he had two, uh, four children after his 100th birthday. Don't believe it. You don't believe it, Absolutely do you? Absolutely not. No. It, it's a great story, though, isn't it? It's a good story. No. Yeah. You know, he wasn't. He was known as the King of Gypsies. He was born in Ayrshire, which is just north of here, just just up the coast. Um, and he deserted from the army and the navy three times, or seven times from the army. Three times from the navy, he was a bit of a rebel. He was no, he was wanted or he was done for robbery, murder, all sorts of things. Yeah. King of the gypsies, he was a Roman Romany gypsy. William Marshall or Billy Marshall, as he was known back then. I just love the story, and as you see, there's lots of coins being left for him. Apparently, it's traditional to leave a coin, so. I'm certainly not wasting a good spendable one pence or two pence like some people have. Someone's got the right idea here, a 20 cent coin. I found a 10 cent coin. No use for that till we go back to Ireland, so... Yeah. Don't call me tight, you know, it's still about nine pence in value. <laughs> so there you go, Billy, bit of money from us. Um, and I hope some of the story is true because it's very, very interesting. Yeah, good story, yeah. Mm. There's also a grave in there of two guys who were hung and beheaded. Hanged and beheaded. Ooh. I always say hung. I know what people say hanged. I've never really got my head around that. <laughs> anyway, we couldn't find their grave, but uh, interesting story. Um, that is the end of this vlog. We are now off to a museum. Yeah, and into town. And into town. Yeah. Kukudbury. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow night. I hope you enjoyed that one. A bit of everything for you. Um, if you missed yesterday's live, go back and watch it. And we will see you very soon. You have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye-de-bye. <laughs>